so I'm excited about this hair. Um, I decided to get some new hair. I wanted to try something new. Um, virgin hair, and I got this from GlamHairSeductions.com. You can check it out online. I got four bundles, and they are of a nice bundle size and I have two 28 inches 126 and I have a 24 inch and I'm going to use all four bundles to create a full wig with a lace closure so this is what the hair looks like and it's the Brazilian straight or body wave I'm not exactly sure because the hair kind of looks wavy in the 26 but the 28s and the 24 it doesn't but we'll see when I wash it what the actual um, texture would be and this is the cap that I'm going to be using I got it from my local beauty supply store um, I like to use these caps because they're breathable because I'm a natural hair person and I definitely do like to wash my wigs and the drying time is much better than using a um, elastic dome cap so this has straps in the back. If you feel you have a big head, you can just cut those out. I usually do. And I really like this because it has the, um, the velvet at the front of the cap, but I'm going to cut that off because I'm going to be attaching, um, just gonna be attaching a, a lace closure in it. So this is the lace closure. It's the Sagarimi closure, and I actually removed this from an old wig that I just recently did an update on, and I wanted to use it in this wig because this hair actually works well um, with this closure. So I'm going to use it for this wig, and this is the wig head that I'm going to be using. I have done a video on how I did this so that it would fit the circumference of my head and I'm just going to show you how I pin the uh, the neck cap onto the head before I start sewing. So first things first, I always attach the lace closure to my wigs first so I'm just going to pin it and I'm going to sew this closure on pretty nice and tight to the actual head and the um, neck cap and I'm not sewing around I'm actually just sewing through the holes that are already provided in this closure and that's one of the things I really like about this closure is it's just user friendly to be honest but um, after that I just went ahead and sewed the rest of the hair on in a U shape making sure that I fold each um, track at the edges of the cap so no I do not cut my wefts at all I just sew in a U shape until I get to real close to the closure and then I'm done So before doing any of the finishing touches to this uh, wig, I decided to use this heat protectant to uh, flat iron the 26 inch weft that um, was still kind of wavy. I wanted to make sure that I had flat ironed and straightened the hair pretty nice and straight with the rest so that it would be a little bit easier for me to cut, layer, and style it on my head. Now with this closure, yes, I did cut the cap and I made sure that I cut um, to expose the part that's in this closure and I made sure that I didn't cut any of the threads that was um, attached to the, um, the wig cap. So this was just to expose the closure. So yeah, I do cut it out. And then I fit it on my head and I kind of guesstimate how much elastic that I need to make sure that this wig is flush to my head, especially the closure. And I attach it to the ear tabs of this uh, we weaving cap. It actually has um, kind of like a metal boning or a metal bendable piece in both tabs so that it sits a little bit more flush to the sides of your head. But I like to use the elastic band method um, to fit all of my wigs and all I did was just added three combs in the back for security underneath the elastic. 
So some things about this hair so far, I love the movement in this hair. It is extremely long. It hits just about my pelvic bone. I love this closure because it works well with this hair. And it just, it's just beautiful hair. It frizzes a little bit, but I can work with it. So stay tuned guys if you want to see how I cut, styled, and layered this wig. That video will be coming up next in the morning. And make sure you check the description box because I have all of the links there. I will see you in the next video.